You started the Horn Foundation in 2003. Why did you think it was important at that time in your life? Well, we had just basically gone through 9-11. We had just entered Iraq. We were into a war for the first time in a very long time. And I knew and felt in my heart that the world was never going to be the same again. And our children were going to suffer from that. Because, you know, we don't always know what our kids are thinking. We don't always know. We sort of assume that they're children. But they were showing signs of distress. And I, I witnessed that because it's part of my DNA. I love children. I have spent a lot of my philanthropy with children. And it was really hurting me. They were dropping out of school. Psychotropics were on the rise where children were becoming depressed. They had uh, a lot of anger issues and bullying was on the rise. And, uh, you know, depression and suicide was really awful. I looked at that and thought that was on the rise. I went, whoa. We have got to get children into a different frame of mind. How are we going to do that? And I thought even to myself as I sat in my quiet room, as I did every day, pondering my, my own belly button, is that can I make a difference? And it and, and really was, it was a big order. How do you fix the children of the world? The world is upside down. So I said, you know, one child at a time. I wanted to teach them how their brains worked because everything we ask them to do has to do with the brain, but they don't know how it works. So that was one of the big areas, that and stress reduction and trying to put an end to bullying. So it did develop from there, you know, and it grew. And so the program is now called Mind Up, and I have all kinds of different programs in that 15 lesson program. And it really deals with perspective, a peaceful a resolution, um, happiness, um, ways and means that kids can calm and take stress and actually de-stress themselves, reduce their stress, recognize their stress, and recognize their anger. Because so much of fear, as you know, turns into anger. And our bullying has gone down, the grades have gone up, the kids have said they could make themselves happier, and they know about their brain. And it's like the coolest thing ever. So it's the best 13 years I think I've ever spent. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.